So there is some debate this morning in Hollywood over the unexpected Best Actress nomination for Andrea Riseborough. Now, the Academy Board of Governors will discuss this issue today after being swarmed with calls and emails about the nomination. And it's been implied that the actress and those advocating for her may have broken Academy rules during their cam campaign. Nigel Smith is the uh, senior news editor for People Magazine, and he's joining us now to talk a little bit more about this controversy. So I saw the headlines, and it, it just caught me off guard because it was like investigation. It was so yeah. serious, yeah. right? I was like, they they do stuff like this? It's for the awards? Um, so, <laughs> and then when I read about it, I thought, oh, yeah, this behavior is obnoxious, but is it like Oscar illegal? Right. You know? So... Let us talk about this. Let us talk about the rules that uh, that are the potential is that these rules are being violated. W what's this all about? All right. So Andrea Risebro is this pretty little known uh, British actress, and she stars in this very small film called To Leslie. And this is a film that made little to no money at the box office. It came out in October. Nobody really saw it. And what happened was that actors like Gwyneth Paltrow, Amy Adams, and Frances Fisher really went to bat for it on social media and started touting her performance and trying to get her into the Oscars conversation, despite the fact that she wasn't even nominated for any of the precedent awards like the Golden Globe Award mm. or the SAG Award. And the rules that might have been broken, it's being investigated, as you said, uh, include the fact that you cannot name competitors in your campaigning uh, so you can't you know say she's better than Kate Blanchett and Tara for example and stuff like that might have happened on social media so this is a campaign that was done through a grassroots movement it wasn't done by a major studio they didn't have lavish dinners and big big screenings I mean it was really just word of mouth, mouth among Hollywood's elite and so that is the major rule that some people think might have been broken. And there was almost there was also sort of a suggestion that people were making phone calls and asking people to to post on social media to the point of it feeling like harassment. I don't know, like, but I guess that's not breaking the rules. You can call up your famous friends and say, "Hey, do you mind doing an Instagram post for me?" Yeah, you're allowed to support and call <laughs> up your friends, but what you're not supposed to do, and this is in the rule book, is that you're not supposed to directly reach out to Academy members mm. to tell them to vote for this movie. You can, you know, say how wonderful her performance is, but you can't directly talk about the race itself. And that might have been done in this case. And the other shocking thing, too, is this movie only made $27,000 from what I'm reading. Like, we're talking yeah. smallest of the small, you know, niche um, in the first place. So it does seem a little unequal. But then what would the punishment be? Isn't the cat kind of already out the bag here? I mean, she's got the nomination, so. <laughs> I know, do people lose And now more people will watch. There's a bit of drama yeah, behind yeah. it. So what would yeah. the consequence really be? And the anything? film did come back out in theaters just last week. So there obviously mm. is more interest to this film. I watched it on a Delta flight recently. So, you know, it's out there. Uh, you can see it. But one of the repercussions that can happen, and it has been done before, is that a nomination can be rescinded. Mm. And the can actually do that whether they will I don't think that will happen because there is such support behind her performance and she is not known to have been implicated in all, any of this it was you know mostly on behalf of uh, other actors out there academy members who saw her performance and loved it we don't know that she directly reached out to any voters herself so i can't see the academy coming down that hard on her and really like we have to think about what is the effect this is having on on her mental state right now i mean this is an <laughs> actress who has kind of flown under the radar and she does get a superb performance in this movie and now she's being known for all the wrong reasons so but i gotta ask you though i mean isn't this kind of what big production companies do anyways for their movies so it didn't make a lot of money so that you know they can't put out an ad you know several ads in, in right. mag public whatever industry publications begging people for support or whatever so they do it like this like i mean this is like you point this is how grassroots campaigns work What's wrong with it? Completely. And actors like Christina Ricci, she posted over the weekend on Instagram saying that this feels really backwards. And, you know, we have to support independent film and independent artists. Uh, and Mark Marin, her co-star in Two Leslie, who has a podcast on his podcast, he opened it up uh, saying pretty much the same thing. So, yeah, it does leave a lot to question in terms of 
How do we get those smaller films elevated to the status of, you know, the Fablemans, for example, or Tar, which has major studio backing behind it? And uh, we don't want that, you know, to, to, to shift so much. We want these smaller films to be recognized, but they just have to play by the Academy Academy's rule book at the end of the day. And into Leslie's case, um, we're quite we're not quite sure whether they did. So it's disappointing because she herself is not accused of having done no, anything. No, she didn't do any of that world, stuff. You know, so how disappointing yeah, she, that if she's her clean, team she's did. Clean. Yeah. Um, we'll stay connected with you, Nigel. What a mess. Thanks for explaining <laughs> it to us. We appreciate it. Thanks.